Uh, I'm Mike King. I'm a member of the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers. I've been an electrician for 30 years. I'm a licensed uh, electrician in the state of Texas. Just a quick walk around, I found several things that were life-threatening in, in the services, uh, which bring all the power into the building. Uh, it's a lot of voltage, a lot of power, and uh, plenty of spots where children can get their hands up into, or electrical uh, uh, flame outs could happen and you could burn a building down. So you're not uh, talking about just a little jolt, you're talking about somebody giving a heart attack or a building catching on fire here. Well, I'm talking about a child having their arm blown off if they stuck it up in that uh, uh, box and got a hold of some live wires. Not to mention all the loose uh, branch circuitry that was around that can kill you just as easily and just as quick and, and just quite often. Uh, just poor. I mean, it's, uh, the, these people have been in danger for a long time. It's not, these aren't recent. Uh, uh, they've been there. And people have been in danger for a long, long time. Uh, it's good to see the city come out like this. I hope they get shit all sorted out here. The problem is, 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 is it took this place almost falling down to do that. I think this is a big attempt to cover their ass and make good on their shortcomings of the past. They dropped the ball on this. Fifteen years ago, they, they, they knew this building existed, and they know that the city is filled with more wood ridges just like this that they don't know about yet. Uh, we have to find out a problem, uh, figure, figure out an answer to this problem uh, with code compliance and the citizens of Austin. We just can't let this happen here. I mean, people are in danger. There's no doubt that people are in danger, and it ain't getting better. That's all i got to say about that. Thanks, Mike. Thank you.